Hello everyone, my name is Amber. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Amber Reads Romance. Today, I'm gonna be going over my TBR for the month of December. I can't believe it's already the end of the year. Um, I've almost been doing booktube for a year now, so thank you so much if you've subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel, uh, like, comment. It's just amazing to be part of booktube and I'm having such a great time with this community, so appreciate all your support. Um, I'm gonna be going into my arcs that I have for December. Um, instead of our buddy read, we're actually doing like a group read for a, um, readathon that Bestie Book Reviews is putting on. Um, me and Bookmark My Jen are also going to be co-hosting that on Be Bestie Book Reviews channel for December. Um, I did just post a video about that announcement, the info you need, and then also all my recs per trope that they are going to have for prompts. So it's probably going to be a longer video. I didn't realize I was going to go into so many recommendations but check it out if you can. I hope you guys will participate and join us. Um, and I believe they are gonna be giving out prizes on their channel during the live show, so that'll be a lot of fun. But let's go ahead and dive in to my December TBR. <music> Okay, so to start out with, I just want to go over the arcs that I have. I'm not sure if any more are going to be approved later on, but this is what I have so far. I think I have like six arcs that I need to read for December, so um, hopefully I won't get too stressed with it being like Christmas time and the readathon and all that. I am trying to make some of these arcs part of like my reads that are going to hit props for the readathon just to make things a little less stressful for myself. So for the arcs that I have, um, I have The Keeper by Bella Matthews. I read a book of theirs from like a different series and this is tied to that series. Um, so I honestly read an arc and I didn't really know a lot about this whole family. And as I usually do, I ended up requesting something that was like the last book. I still really enjoyed it. And then this is going to be kind of like the younger generation. So this is actually a hockey romance. So I am, you know, really interested to see this. I think they're like, I don't know if they're best friends or what, but I don't know a lot about it, but I enjoyed the other book that I read. That one actually comes out December 7th if you're interested. Then I'm gonna read Lose You to Find Me by B. Celeste. Um, I actually enjoyed some other B. Celeste books like way back and I haven't read anything um, in a really long time. So I don't think I've even read anything in this current series. So I was happy to get an arc. Um, I don't know a lot about it. The blurb was pretty vague. Um, I think they were together and she like ends things and then like, for reasons and then like they're kind of pushed back together from like a tragedy or something. I don't know you guys. I'm sorry. I might be totally wrong. Um, but this is really seeing on December 12th. Then the one I'm really excited for is P.S. You're Intolerable by Julia Wolf. I read the last book in this series and I really enjoyed it. I love Julia Wolf. She can do like Jay Wolf or Julia Wolf. She writes like high school, college stuff, and then like more adult. This is kind of like an adult billionaire series. And um, this is actually releasing 1214. And I think it's like her boss. She's like the assistant. She gets pregnant and ends up kind of needing a place to stay um, after she gives birth to her baby. And so they end up living together. And so I've heard really good things. So I'm really excited for this one. Um, and then that releases on the 14th. I'm also going to be reading An Empire of Madness by V. Riviere. And I actually read their first debut book. Um, they sent me the book and wanted me to review it. And it was a very interesting and different like book, like different than I've usually read. It's a mafia series. It was kind of like the setup to it and all the characters. So in this one, it's going to be a captor captive. It's mafia. I think she gets um, captured by her stalker. So this should be interesting. And then that one's going to be releasing on the 15th. Um, then I have Shake Off by Lulu Moore, and this is going to be a baseball romance. I haven't read a lot of baseball romance, so I want to try and read some more. And this is um, 
I believe a one night stand and he's like obsessed. So I'm definitely excited for this one. It is coming out on the 20th. And then I'm so excited because I got the arc for Mafia Virgin by Mia Finelli. Um, I absolutely have loved this boy that I think it's like the Italy, Boys of Italy. I don't remember what's this series called. Sorry, let me get this out. Oh, sorry, the Kings of Italy and the Boys of Italy. Anyways, this is um, Mafia Mad Men. I am actually just now reading the um, fourth book because I kept putting it off. And it's a male-male um, romance. So I'm enjoying that. And then this is going to be like a forced marriage. So I absolutely love this series. So I definitely recommend it. And that one is coming out on the 13th. So those are all my arcs. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing for the December readathon, we're going to have a group read and we did a holiday one. I don't really read holiday romances. I have like really no interest usually, but I thought this would be good for the readathon and it's a novella, so it'll be quick. And it's The Christmas Blanket by Candy Steiner. So we're going to be reading that one for our group read on the readathon. So other books that I'm going to read for the readathon, except for like the arcs that are hitting prompts, um, I am finally going to read Catherine Cowles. I've been needing to read Catherine Cowles forever. I see how hyped she is, so it's made me nervous. Um, so I actually asked somebody on Instagram that was like posting about her again, like, where's a good place to start? She told me the Rec series. And so I am going to read Reckless Memories. And I think this is like a Friends to Lovers um, and it's like she becomes best friends with her sister's boyfriend. So it's going to have a lot of angst and that. So it should be interesting. Um, then I'm going to read for my alien prompt. I'm going to continue with uh, the Ice Planet Barbarian series, which I love. And this is going to be the 12th book in the series. And it's Barbarian's Redemption. And this is going to be Beck's romance. And Beck has kind of been the douche. Like he's kind of been... Not that great in the previous book. So I'm guessing he's going to have a redemption. I think he's like the last one that hasn't been mated. And so I think he's going to go up, kind of go to different lengths to get a mate. Um, and I'm planning on listening to that on any play. Um, all, I think all of them are on any play if you're interested. Um, so um, then I'm going to be reading Two Wrongs by Kimberly Carrillo. Um, and this is um, like taboo age gap. It's husband's father. So I'm in. Um, I'm really, I've never read this author before. So I'm interested to see how this one is going to go. And if you're new to my channel, you may have not have noticed. But I love ex-boyfriend's dad, ex-boyfriend's dad. So husband's dad. I could get on for that. So hopefully, I don't, I'm guessing there's going to be cheating in this. I don't know because I'm not always a fan of the cheating. So then I'm going to read um, Into the Storm. This is on any play. This is going to be like the snowed in prompt. And this is by Melanie Moreland. Um, I believe she is on the run, crashes on this um, reclusive, like this recluse author his property, but she gets amnesia. And so she wakes up, you know, not knowing who he is and they are snowed in together. So I thought that would be a fun one. And then I'm actually going to finally read Scarred by Emily McIntyre. Um, I actually bought these books a while ago to kind of support her because of everything she's gone through with her breast cancer. And I've heard this one is really good. I read Hooked way back. Um, so this is going to be for the retelling prompt. It's basically Lion King kind of retelling um, where it's like Scar, obviously. So I'm interested. I don't know a lot about it, but obviously I think she's like set up to marry his brother. That's like kind of like the Mufasa character. And then Scar is like the brother. So should be interesting. So that kind of wraps up stuff that's hitting all the prompts. I don't know if I'm going to read everything that I put on there for my TBR because that's for hitting every single prompt. And I think there was like 11 or 12 and it's a nine bingo board. Um, by the way, if you are interested, check out my Instagram, please. Um, I'm going to put up um, a post on all the graphics and it'll be in a highlights so that you can go to it whenever. 
Um, but so let's continue on to the other books that I just want to read for me, for my reasons, um, stuff I've been needing to get to. So I read Lords of Pain in November, and it's a reverse harem bully, kind of crazy, toxic, I don't even know. It's so weird. It's like where this girl, it's like her stepbrother and his friends, and they kind of like it basically kind of opens up almost like untouchable where it's like assault. Um, and she kind of goes away and she ends up getting a stalker. And so she needs their protection kind of, but not letting them know she is this crazy stalker. And so she comes to be like their girl. I guess they're, I think it's the lady. Um, cause they are like the lords of this like, uh, frat. And, um, the lady basically is theirs for the year and they can do whatever they want to, to make her dress a certain way, all this kind of stuff. So to really, when you say that out loud, it's the craziest story, but I couldn't put it down. Um, I wanted to continue, but I had to stick to my TBR for like November. So I'm going to read the next two books, which is Lords of Wrath and Lords of Mercy. And then these are by Angel Lawson and Samantha Rue. So I'm interested to continue that reverse harem. Um, then I'm continuing on my Rena Kent journey, um, trying to go through her backlist in that order. I have some vlogs, um, that I'm doing for each of these kind of books and series. So the next vlog that I'm going to do is going to be on a duet. And this is Reign of King and Rise of a Queen. And this is actually Aiden's father. So Aiden is like the hero from, um, the last series, the Royal Elite series. He was in the first three books. He's pretty psycho. And his dad, uh, I think it was Jonathan King, if I'm remembering. I didn't write it down. Um, he was pretty scary, intimidating, psycho guy too. So this is going to be his romance. So I'm intrigued. Um, then I'm finally going to get to a new release that I needed to get to forever. And that, well, not forever since recently, but that is um, Caught Up by Liz Tom Ford. I love this series that she has. And this is going to be another baseball romance. I believe he's a single dad. I think she's going to be like the nanny. So I'm very interested. And I can't wait to read this because I've been hearing lots of good things. Okay. And one of my big goals was to finally read this book. Um, it's so hyped. So I might do a reading vlog on it because it's one of the most hyped books. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the original cover, um, but I got the newer cover, and that is Jessa Hastings' Magnolia Parks. I'm one of probably the only people who haven't read this on BookTube. It is so hyped. Um, I loved Gossip Girl. And sorry, this is a shiny cover, so it might be hitting it. Um, I love Gossip Girl, and I heard this is very Gossip Girl, toxic, crazy, relationship. So I'm interested. I hope I'm going to like it. I hope it's going to be worth the hype. But I think I might do a vlog, like another worth the hype vlog to see if this is going to hit me the way it hits everybody else. Okay. And then I am also going to read a knotted um, I don't know if this is really good on camera, but this is like, I think the fabled one that I got, I ended up getting this on Mercari for a pretty good price, but it's like this beautiful edition of Knotted by Pam Godwin. And then like, it's actually signed and everything. So check out Mercari if you ha aren't already. Like if you take off the cover, it's got this beautiful horse. So I'm, I've had this sitting on my shelf and I haven't read it yet. Um, I, of course, this is Pam Godwin, so it is going to be a dark romance. And I believe like their childhood kind of like boyfriend, girlfriend, and they go out to kind of like lose their virginity. I think he might have tied her up or something and like in the woods. I'm not sure. I haven't read it yet, obviously. Um, and then like other people come and like, I think she gets like assaulted and stuff. So, um, it's going to be dark. And Pam Godwin never steers me wrong. She's the dark romance queen. And I absolutely love her. So I'm excited to read that one. 
Okay, and then in the last live show when we did our last buddy read, um, I admitted that I didn't have never read um, Mia Sheridan, and they were like, you never read Archer's Voice, so I said I'd read it. Um, that might be in the worth the hype vlog. Maybe I'll do that, it's them combined. I don't know, but I always heard about Archer's Voice and I never read it, so I'm finally gonna read Archer's Voice. Um, and then I'm going to continue with a Neva Altaj series. Um, this is going to be book number seven in the Perfectly Imperfect series, and that is Burned Dreams. And I believe this is a guy that wants revenge, and he's going to be a bodyguard to, like, I think the wife of the guy he wants revenge against. I think he might have been planning on killing her, but then they end up falling for each other. So I've loved every single one of these books. So I am super excited to continue and finally like, catch up to the current book. And then I want to read a new auth some new authors. And I've seen S.J. Tilly, Tilly all over the place. Um, so I want to read Nero. Um, and I did see Jen from the Book Refuge um, recently read this and was like kind of continuing the series. And I know they have like a new release coming out. So I really want to um, read this author. It's Mafia. I think he ends up accidentally kind of going in her balcony for like some reason and gets like obsessed with her or something. I have no idea. And I need to get back on my Monstrous series by Lily Main. I love it. It's MM, it's Monster, and I haven't gone back to it for some reason. Like I always stop reading my series. And this is Gloam, um, and he was kind of introduced, this monster was introduced, he was like tied to this kind of um, trailer carriage thing by this woman that collected monsters. And so he was kind of forced to be like carrying it. And um, one of the characters, I think, goes off to try and help him at the end of the last book. So I'm very interested to see what happened with that. And then I don't know if I'll get to this, but I really want to because I've had this on my list forever. And that is Assault to Keep by Opal Rain. Um, I've seen this so many places. I've had it on my Kindle forever. I need to read it. It's another monster kind of romance. Um, and then I did see Jen also read this one and continue with the series. Like she binged it. So I have high hopes that it's going to be good. I hope I can get to it because I have a lot of books to read this month. Some other audiobooks that I basically want to read. My big goal, the biggest thing that I need to do in the month of December is read Fourth Wing. Yes, I have not read Fourth Wing. I'm sick of seeing it everywhere and the new release. Um, so, like, I need to read it. So it's actually available in any place. So I think I'm going to listen to it. And then if I love it, then I'm going to buy the book. Um, so I'm definitely reading uh, Fourth Wing. And then I want to continue with Serena Ackroyd. I am reading her Filthy Feckers and then also her Sinners and Saints. I think it's Sinners, D Dark and Dirty Sinners series. So that's MC. So now I just read the last Filthy Feckers one that I needed to. Now I'm going back to the MC and this is Storm. And this is going to be like a second chance romance because he like cheated on his wife a lot. He has sex addiction issues. And so he's trying to win his wife and his kid back. So... Should be pretty emotional, I think. Um, then just for a fun one, uh, My Dad's Best Friend by Katie Robert. Want to fit in a smutty, quick novella in there. I think it's on any play. And then I'm continuing with the Bridgertons because I'm one of the only people who hasn't read the Bridgertons, I feel like. But I'm dedicated. I'm going to read this series. And I am reading Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, which I'm really excited because after the last one, which I loved... Um, I really wanted Colin's romance and they kind of hinted a Colin Penelope thing. And so um, I think she's like been in love with her best friend's brother for years and you never really saw her. So I'm excited for that one. Um, and then I am going to be reading Redeeming Six. I believe this one comes out on Audible, I think December 7th. Don't mark that. That might be wrong. But I was trying to look it up because it said to pre-order because I want to listen to an audiobook. These audiobooks are amazing. Um, Joey is my baby. I love him so much. Um, I'm currently listening to Saving Six and it's so emotional. I just know this one is going to be worse. Like it's going to hit me hard. So I can't wait to continue that. And then if I have time, because this has been on multiple TBRs, 
this year, and I still haven't read it. And that's No Tomorrow by Carrie Ann Cole. I've literally put this on multiple TBRs and still have not read it. So um, I need to do it. So I hope I have time this month because it's going to be a crazy month. But I need to finally read that book. Um, I heard it's super angsty. So I kind of wanted to do like an angsty kind of books uh, rec video or vlog, something like that. So those are my books. It's a lot. Um, I don't know if I'll get to all of the ones that I want to for the readathon because I have other books I need to read, but I'm going to try my best. Make sure to check out that video. I'll remember to link that down below with the announcement and a rec video from me. Um, but I am so excited for the month of December and this readathon. It's going to be fantastic. Um, please remember to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what book you're excited for for December, maybe a new release. Or if you're interested in this, um, you can also bring up the readathon or any questions you have. I'm super excited. As always, thank you so much for watching this, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.